Hey guys, school is in session. So today we're gonna to draw a school hallway with lockers on one side and classroom doors on the other using a technique called one point perspective. Now when we draw with one point perspective, we can put objects to paper and have them appear to get smaller and closer together the farther in the distance that they are. So when you complete your drawing for today and someone looks at it, it'll almost be like they can step right into your drawing and walk down your school hallway. With most drawings, especially one point perspective, there's a horizon line. The horizon line is a horizontal line and it's usually imaginary. Many times this line signifies the separation between the sky and the ground. This dot here is called the vanishing point. It's on the horizon line and this vanishing point is where parallel lines along the side of the drawing appear to come together and then vanish. So let's get our supplies together so that now we can draw these guidelines, the vanishing point, and create our school hallway. And then you'll have the opportunity to personalize it a little. All right, you'll need white paper, an ultra fine tip black marker, a pencil with an eraser, along with a ruler. And then to start, let's turn our paper horizontally like I have here, and then take your pencil and your ruler. The first thing we're gonna do is draw some lines. That'll be our guide as we begin to draw the hallway. So line up the edge of your ruler to the corner of your paper, and let's draw a straight line from corner to corner. And your ruler might not reach the far edge of your paper. If it doesn't, you can just Draw the line, then slide your ruler down and continue that line as close to the corners as you can. And then once you have that line done, let's do the other corners. So corner to corner, you need another straight line. Now where these two lines meet in the middle, this is our vanishing point. This is where everything is gonna slowly begin to look like it disappears. So let's draw a few more guidelines to help us with this project. So take your ruler, put it right through the middle of your vanishing point here. And then I want you to look at this line on the left side of your paper. Bring your ruler down just a bit, about an inch from the top, and then draw another straight line from your vanishing point right off to the edge of your paper. And in these lines, you want to make sure that they're fairly light because we're going to go in and erase them at the end of this drawing. Then again, on this side, put your ruler right through the vanishing point and then about an inch down from the right side and then take your pencil from the vanishing point, draw a straight line all the way to the edge of your paper. So at this point, you should have two lines on both sides near the top and one line on either side on the bottom. Let's add one more line on the bottom side. So again, take your ruler, put it right through the middle of the vanishing point. And then I want you to stay fairly close to this bottom line. It's gonna be a little bit closer than the space or the gap that we have up here. And then from the vanishing point to the edge of your paper, draw one more straight line. So those are all our angled lines. Now we need one horizontal line and then we can get to the marker portion. So look for your vanishing point, put your ruler right through the middle of it, except this time we are going horizontally. So to make my line as fairly straight as I can get it, I like to line up the edge of my ruler to the edge of my paper and then make sure it's going through the vanishing line or the vanishing point. Draw my straight line and that completes the guide. So now we can get to the actual drawing portion. So pick up your marker and we're actually gonna start right at this vanishing point. The middle of our paper is gonna have the doorway. That's where we can walk down the hall and exit this hallway. So from this top line to this top line, just above the vanishing point. I want you to draw a straight line going across. So we've got a horizontal line touching both of those top lines, then a vertical line on both sides coming down, touching the farthest bottom line, and then connect those two straight lines with a horizontal line. 
Now inside this box, you might have a rectangular shape, you might have a square shape. Find the second line on both sides and right where your black box meets that second line, I want you to draw a horizontal line going across. So this part is the wall, this part is gonna be the door. So right down the middle, right through your vanishing point, draw a straight vertical line, and then a vertical line on both sides of that line. And then again, right along the edges. And then inside these two larger shapes, put in a square or a rectangular shape. These are gonna be the windows of the door and then below each window, put in a small rectangle that'll be the door handle. All right, now we can trace over some of our guides. So let's start at this top corner up here, following your guide, draw a straight line all the way off the page. This next angle line, go right over that. You're gonna skip over this horizontal line and then come down to these two angled lines down here and follow those straight lines as best you can. And then do the same thing on this side. Follow those angled lines, skip over the horizontal line, and then do these angled lines up on top. There, so if you can begin to see it just a little bit, this area is the floor. This area are the walls on both sides, and this is the ceiling. So let's start on the right side here and put in the lockers. So to start, you can have narrow lockers or you can have thicker lockers. I'm gonna make my lockers fairly narrow. So I'm gonna start with a vertical line on this second angle line and stopping on this um, line that's inside down here. And when you draw your vertical lines, you want to make sure that they follow the edge of your paper. These vertical lines, you want to be straight. So we're going to put in several vertical lines all the way down the paper until they meet the door. And again, these can be super close together, meaning your lockers are very narrow, or they can be farther apart. So once you've got those lines in, they're gonna serve as the divider for each locker. And then inside each shape, we're gonna draw a rectangle. To start on the outside, come to the edge of your page, and you're gonna draw an angled line following this black line up here. So it's angled down, and then come down straight. You're following that vertical line. And then once you get to the bottom, leave a little bit of space and follow this angled line until you come off the paper. And let's do the same thing in each space. So I'll step you through it again. So we're gonna come inside the shape with a straight angled line following this guide up here. And then we're gonna bring a vertical line coming down, leaving a little bit of space. Another vertical line coming down, leaving a little bit of space. And to connect those, we need an angled line following this guide down here. So let's do the same thing again. An angled line up top, and it's going up in this direction, and then two vertical lines, and then an angled line at the bottom following this guide. So go ahead and add in these rectangles in each of your shapes, making sure that your top guide follows this line and your bottom line follows this line. All right, so we've got a bunch of shapes along the right side, but let's put in some extra detail so they actually look like lockers. So along the top portion, inside each of these long rectangles, we're gonna draw three lines. That would be the holes in the locker that allow airflow through there. So three lines along the top of each locker and make sure your lines are going up following this guide. And then let's do something similar along the bottom. Let's draw two lines this time, but our line is gonna go in the opposite direction following these bottom guides. Now let's put the lock 
on there. So you've got this horizontal guide right here. So along this pencil line, you're gonna draw a circle with a line going right through the middle of that circle on each locker. Now your circles are actually gonna get smaller and smaller the closer you get to this door over here. And then come back to the first circle where you started and begin along the outer edge of the circle and then just draw a curved line and then another curved line going all the way down to the door until you cover every circle. And then this will be the combination lock. So come where you just drew that curved line and draw in two or three straight lines in there, however much room you have on your shape. And then below, that circle, that combination lock, draw a rectangular shape. And you can put a line in the middle. And when you do your rectangular shape, you wanna make sure that your horizontal lines are following this guide down here. Now I want you to grab your ruler we're gonna put in two more guides. So you'll also need your pencil. And then place your ruler right through the middle of this vanishing point, and then find the middle between this top corner and this horizontal line. Find the middle of that space, about the middle, with your ruler. And then lightly draw a line to the edge. And then same thing down here, put your ruler through the vanishing point and then find the middle of this space, the middle between this horizontal line and your corner down here. And draw a horizontal line. Then go back with your marker and this new, these two new lines that we drew, that's going to be our guide for the hinges. The hinges will allow our locker to swing open. So for the hinge, we're actually just going to do three curved lines up on this guide, and then three curved lines on the bottom part of the second guide. And so go ahead and do that for each locker, making sure that you do those curved lines right on that new pencil guide. All right, that completes our locker side of the hallway. Now let's come to this side of the hallway and we're gonna put in some doors. So maybe these are classroom doors or office doors. So leave a little bit of space from the edge of your paper, come in a little bit and on this second guide, draw a vertical line. And remember your vertical line is matching the edge of your paper. So it needs to be straight down then come over a little bit and you're gonna want this space a lot wider then you made your locker space. And then once you've got those in, just add in two more lines that are pretty close to the lines that you drew. That'll kind of be like the trim of the door. And then along the top, follow this guide right here, but come below and draw your angled line. And then below that, let's put in a really long window. So on the inside, draw a vertical line. Then for the top, remember we're angling, following this guide, another vertical line. And then this time, the bottom of the window is gonna follow this guide. So the bottom of the window will come back this way, and then we can meet up with our vertical line. And to complete our door, you can put in a handle. And you can also put in, maybe it's a room number, maybe you've got a sign on this door letting people know who the teacher is. I'm gonna put a room number, so we'll make this one, 102. And then let's come down further along this wall. You could put in another door, you could put a poster in there, a bulletin board. I'm gonna put a horizontal, a lengthy poster. And so when we do the poster, we start with the vertical line and then our horizontal line up above here is following this guide. Our line below is following the bottom guide. And then we connect those 
with another vertical line. So then you can write anything on there. Maybe it's your school name, maybe it's an encouraging sign, whatever you'd like it to be. Maybe it's a picture. The sides of our hallways are finished. Now we can work on the floor and the ceiling. So get your pencil and your ruler out one more time. We are going to add in two more guides. So find the vanishing point in here with the middle of your ruler there and just angle your ruler just a little bit. We don't need it too far. We're gonna draw a very narrow X. So one way and then put it the other way through the vanishing point and draw another line. So you've got a very narrow X, two lines on the top and two on the bottom. So with your marker, with these two lines on the bottom, go ahead and go right over them. And then as you went over them, follow that line again, going pretty close to it. So you get a su two super thin lines. And then let's make some tiled floors. So from this guide over here, we're gonna draw a horizontal line and we're following this edge of the paper. Hop over the line you just drew up over the second line and continue all the way across until you come to the other guide. And then just like we have these thin lines here, let's make these lines super thin. So draw a second line, hopping over and going all the way. So make a space and let's do the same thing. Another horizontal line and then another line pretty close to it and do that all the way down until you reach the doorway. All right, that completes our flooring. Now let's go to the top. We need some lighting in our hallway. So these two lines are gonna be our guide. So draw a horizontal line from one line to the other, then come up a bit, draw another horizontal line and then let's connect those by following the guide. And then right on top, underneath draw a straight line, and on the bottom draw another straight line. Then skip a little bit of a space, draw another horizontal line, come up a bit, draw another horizontal line, and then connect those two by following your guides. And then on the inside of the top, draw another straight line and another straight line below. And then if you've got more room up toward the top, you can continue with those straight lines and guides to make your lights run right off the paper. So now once you've got your walls completed, your floors, your ceilings, your signs, everything in there, come in with your pencil and gently erase all of those pencil marks so you get a nice clean look of just the black marker. And at this point, you can either leave your drawing black and white just as it is, sign your name, or you can take some colored pencils or some watercolors, crayons, whatever you'd like, and you can add color to your hallway. There is a unique take on one point perspective using a school hallway. So I hope you all enjoyed learning about one point perspective and you'll join in again on the next art lesson and project. But until then, keep creating.